it's, it's an interesting one, that, because it's one of the things that's caught us out quite often in the past, or that the people have been doing really, really well, and then there's like a, there's, there's a, a, a trauma date or anniversary. And the, I'll give you one example. There's a geezer that we used to work with, and, and basically he found his mum dead. I think December 28th, she, she was a drinker, she fell downstairs and broke her neck. And we worked with him and, and we did fantastic through throughout the year and then we did the middle of December he disappeared off and then we won't see him until January again and he, he basically just got like a big six massive six week binge. But it took us a couple of years to actually work this out because no one had ever asked the question really. Um, so one of the things that we did, we try not to get like try not to get too deep into it, but when the guys come to us, what we do is we just ask them for like a bit of a timeline. So can you just do us like a bit of a timeline from, from kind of bird to where you are now? Um, and basically what we're looking for are those like trauma events, those, uh, you know, adverse childhood experiences. Not to, to get too far into it, because obviously the worst thing you can do with anyone is start to unpick any of that stuff, especially if you haven't got the, the training or the ability to, to get Pandora back in the box. But what we're looking for are things that triggers really, and things that we know that are a significant sort of stuff particularly is there any dates you know around calendars and stuff like that when you're more likely to, to kind of do and to respond to that type of kind of thing 